I was asked a question about what is the need of supplicating or making dua to Allah, calling out to Allah for something you know is not going to happen. Well, let me give you a few examples. Number one, they say, if a person is terminally ill and you're busy asking Allah to cure them, what's the point? Well, there is a very great point. Remember, Allah Almighty is the creator. He alone knows the future and he has created us in such a way that he wants us to worship him. We are believers. We believe in the hereafter. When you call out to Allah, call out to him with conviction and know that he hears you. Number one, definitely hears you. There's no way that he has not heard you. But whether or not he will give you exactly what you've asked for, that is in his hands. He will give you what is best for you. So when you ask him for something and yes, you have conviction within your heart that he is all able, all capable. Even if you see people deteriorating last minute, something can turn around. And this is why there are millions of examples on earth of people who have been terminally ill. They've been told that you only have two weeks. They've been given a time frame by the experts in the medical field, but they are still living today. Years later, subhanAllah, there are millions of examples. What was that? That was Allah Almighty, the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah loves it when you call out to him with conviction and have hope in him because having hope itself is an act of worship that will be rewarded handsomely in this world and the next. If you are terminally ill and you're asking Allah to grant you cure and you deteriorating as the days pass, you need to know Allah will have in store as a result of the hope you had, the supplications you made, and as a result of the patience that you bore, Allah will grant you paradise. This is something unique and amazing. So if you are asking Allah for something, you need to know he either gives you what you want, as you want, when you want immediately, or he delays it for you and gives you something later on, either in this world or in the next. And sometimes he replaces it for you with something he knows is better for you. You desperately want something. He says, no, I know this is not good for you. You don't know the future. So because I love you so much and I care for you so much, I'm going to replace it with something even better. And you need to know at times Allah keeps in store for you something amazing in the hereafter something amazing and you see such a big reward just because you kept praying to Allah. What's this reward for? What did I do? Allah says, well, you kept praying to us. We did not give you what you wanted. We heard you, but we kept it for you for the hereafter in this magnificent way. Then also sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes a different type of harm that may have been coming in your direction to be diverted as a result of a prayer you made supplication for something else in totality. That's the mercy of Allah. Sometimes he blesses you in a million other ways because of a dua you made, because of the love, the hope, the conviction, the persistence and the continuation. That was something Allah loved so much. You continued even though you were getting worse. You know, you continued asking Allah for a job, for a spouse, for children, for uh, wealth, for sustenance, for whatever it may have been, for good health. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watched you. He knew, he heard all the time. As you repeated it, he gave you more blessings from a totally different angle. And at times, some of what you have that you haven't even thought of is a result of blessings that you achieved because of a dua or a supplication you made that you did not get exactly as you wanted. What a great blessing of Allah. So my brothers and sisters, similarly, another example that was given was the coronavirus. People are saying, why should I keep calling out to Allah to, uh, you know, to end this as soon as possible when I know that it's not going to end? How do you know it's not going to end? It could end as abruptly as it started, subhanAllah. And yes, experts might say whatever, but imagine 
bingo suddenly i mean you know what i mean it's just something that is a flash if medication is found something is found that's in the hands of allah we have to try we have to continue looking searching researching scientifically checking things and trying to find responses and allah will guide allah guides the doctors allah guides the experts to to find something and sometimes it's under our noses and we don't even know so keep praying keep asking and like i said if Allah has not given it to us, you've lost nothing. In fact, you've only gained. So keep calling out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, world peace. Some people say that because the world is in disarray and we know there's not going to be peace, why should we keep praying for peace? Well, you better pray for peace because through that prayer, Allah will grant you inner peace yourself your family members, perhaps others around you. Allah will give you a different type of peace. Allah will grant you peace in the hereafter as a result of those supplications you made. So when I'm busy looking for something, at times I'm given other things that I need even more desperately that I didn't realize. And it was all a result of a dua that you made. So keep calling out to Allah with hope and conviction, no matter how much uh, the world has told you to lose that hope. Having hope in Allah itself is an act of worship, calling out to him, convinced that he is the owner of cure. That's what it is. But at the same time, my brothers and sisters, remember, we must prepare for the worst case scenarios all the time. Be prepared for the worst case scenarios and hope for the best. And Allah will bless you in every single way. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.